quarter till eight in the morning here and it's pretty damn chilly i should have worn gloves we're getting our morning run in before we head to work looking to do about 10. so you might be asking yourself what is the purpose of showing you running in the morning when you work at a pro bike and run you're showing what a full day looks like well every day before i go in i like to run naturally it makes me feel like my opinions there are valid it makes me feel like i'm walking the walk or running the run so to speak are we good i said are we good dude good morning okay yeah we're good i hope you guys find lots of berries this morning have a good one y'all ice bath sometimes here's the end of the trail a little over four miles heading back we're gonna have to add on a bit a little over 10 miles good run just pulled into the parking lot it is quarter till 11 I work from then until 7 p.m. so let's get started There she is. I'm gonna clock in real quick. Get that money. big part of the job is making sure that everything is easily accessible and organized. So I'm going to go through every single shoe aisle and organize everything so it's readable. I know where what shoe is going to be when I need it. And we have Mizunos, we have Asics, and we have some 860s in the New Balance, which is a stability shoe. Let's get to it. <music> We are in aisle number two. This is the Hoka aisle. No! Two aisles down. My boss here, Chris, is going to help me do the big old Brooks aisle. Three aisles down, one to go. I think we're good. All four aisles done. It's 2.30. I'm eating a sandwich. It's good with you. get a chance to try on some actual shoes the glycerin 20s brooks it's about quarter till four right now and what i'm doing right now is what i normally do right when i get here Unfortunately, we kind of got swamped at the beginning of the day, so it threw off my whole routine, but I usually like to put on a pair of sneakers, something that I'm interested in buying for myself, and also I like to sweep and clean up the area.
Now I'm gonna check and make sure all the shoes are straightened and they fit my obsessive compulsive needs. Looks good to me. It's 4 p.m. right now and it's a bit quiet right now so I'm gonna hop on the treadmill and give these glycerins a proper go. I'm just gonna run probably a mile. One of the perks of working here is we get everything at cost. So naturally, because I'm running a lot of miles, I can get some really nice shoes for a really cheap price. I'm strongly considering getting these glycerins. I'm a big Brooks fan, and I get a chance to try out all these other brands that I didn't know existed until a few weeks ago, like Ultra, so it's real nice. Cute little one mile jog. These shoes are real nice. They're very tempting, but it's always nice to, you know, find that spare time in the middle of the day and just get some extra miles in. They all count for something. These, these are really nice. I had an older model of these last year, so I'm not surprised they fit well on me, but I'm just gonna wear them around for the rest of the day to really get a good gauge on them. Okay, when you walk in, you're greeted with two different sections. You have the bikes over here and run section over there. Naturally, being a run specialist, I spend a lot of time over this way. But over here, I don't spend nearly enough time, so we're gonna check it out today. But here we have some of the more expensive bikes that I've seen. They're worth more than my existence. There are kids' bikes. Bikes hanging from the ceiling. More bikes on the ground where they belong. Helmets for safety. You wanna get them hooked up now? Yeah, what's going on, man? All right, so, um... So obviously I muted this portion of the video because I don't want to give away this customer's personal information. That would be kind of rude and unprofessional. But essentially the gist of what I do at Pro Bike and Run is I'm a run specialist. I sell shoes to all different people from all walks of life, from young teens to the elderly, to walkers, runners, and everything in between with different goals, different injuries, and different preferences. Some of the first things that I look for whenever a customer comes in, assuming that they don't have a laid out idea of what they want, I ask about injuries and shoes that they've worn in the past. I ask them what kind of terrain they're running on and what their goals are, how often they're running and what type of mileage, how often they're doing these things. Then I kind of start to piece together the puzzle. At first it was really difficult for me, it was really awkward because I didn't really know what I was talking about and I didn't know how to fill in the awkward, silent parts of the conversation. I'm still pretty bad at it, but I'm getting a lot better. Obviously one of the most important things I need to know is their gait. I need to know if they need a neutral or a stability shoe. I can look at their ankles pretty easily now and figure that out. And then, when I think I have an idea of what they need, I run into the back and grab some shoes for them to try on. This is the Theragun. Yeah, usually if I have some dry spells in the store, there's not really too many people coming in. I'll sit on the floor and stretch or I'll break out this puppy and just start getting in all the crevices and fixing up all the tweaks in my body. I was today years old when I realized I can take the bikes out of the store and ride them around. I'm actually really scared though because these are worth so much money and I don't want to crash. It is 10 till 6 right now. We have an hour left in our shift and we are living it up right now. This is easily the nicest bike I've ever ridden in my life. Just the grip and this little thingy mabobber that measures your speed. Dude. Oh, okay. It all makes sense now. So that, that's a mountain bike? Yeah. Oh God. All right, so I just got a new ride, another e-bike. This one's got a slick little green paint job to it. I like it.
Okay, time to clock out. We're good. Bye. See you next time. It's a little dark right now, but I figured I would just tack on one little bit of the video because I just got home and I have to do three more miles. I'm doubling today. Well, I guess tripling because I ran on the treadmill. It's also really hard to pass up on this because how often can you run shirtless in Pittsburgh in the middle of October? I guarantee you this will be the nicest day for the remainder of the year. This is a fluke. And that's all she wrote. See you guys next time.